How's it going everybody? This is Mark with AtTech and in this video I want to show you my new server rack. This contains hardware from the past couple of years but also stuff that I've been working on for the past couple of months. I'm really excited to show you my new networking setup. The whole office and house is now wired with Ethernet. We got so much cool stuff, new equipment and hardware. The setup is awesome so I can't wait to show you that but today I want to show you my server rack. So at the top, as you can see, we have a fan. It is blown directly down on top of my router, which does pretty good with cooling. It is somewhat loud. There's no speed control, but it works fairly decently. Talking about that router, that is right there on the top. This is my custom PFSense router that I built. Check out our video on that, but it is running perfectly, no problems. And for the hardware and price, performance is pretty good. Going down a level, we have a cyber power surge protector. This has six ports on the front and six more ports around back. This is pretty awesome because it allows you to plug things on in the back and the door can still close, put things on the front to test, and it has this pretty cool power button with a cover over it so you don't actually press it. Below that, we have a first generation Apple Airport Extreme. Its only purpose here is to act as a backup router. Simply plug in the WAN, plug in the power, and you will be all set up and running if anything were to ever happen to the main router. Sure, this is not advisable. This is not a great solution for passing all this data through, but it is a temporary solution to get up and running if we need internet that is very critical. Otherwise, I could just reconfigure one of my other routers, get it working, but for now, this is um, our temporary solution in case anything ever happens. To the right of that, we have a Sengled Smart Light Bulb Hub. This isn't really even configured at all. I still need to set that up, but that is where it's going to live because it has some pretty big issues with Wi-Fi, so it works better over Ethernet. Below that, we have a 16-port gigabit switch from TP-Link. I know 16 ports isn't a lot, but I don't need a lot of ports. Probably was a bad idea, though. But all I need is gigabit for now, even though the whole office is wired with 10 gigabit 6A, but it works nice. It is unmanaged, which is actually kind of good because it's one less point of issues and failure. Overall, I like it a lot. Not really any issues with it, so, you know, can't go wrong with that. On the bottom, we have my 4Bay Synology server. This has been with me for a couple of years. It stores all of our footage, and it's even in a link aggregation bond, so I can get 2 gigabit access to that. So hopefully doubling my speeds, but we just need a 10 gigabit NIC, and we do have 10 gigabit in the office. Now right now, what is not in the server rack is actually my modem because it's in use. Uh, it is to the right of my server right now, now that it's in there. It is an RS surfboard, not much to it other than it looks cool. So that's pretty much all that's that. And finally, on the bottom, we have a UPS from Triplight. This thing is a beast. It has so much power that it can run all of this hardware in the server rack that is mission critical or needs to be online for 45 minutes. That will go down once we expand our hardware, but it has eight ports on the back, and it can hold a lot of juice for a long time, so it's pretty awesome. Now... What would a server rack be without lights? We've got a light strip going up the sides and the top. This is plugged in at the bottom to a motion sensor. So anytime someone opens a door to the server rack, the lights will come on. It'll illuminate everything. It's pretty awesome. The light strip is not RGB, but it does have a pretty cool motion sensor where you can program the time. So when it senses motion, it can stay on for a fixed amount of time. It's pretty cool and I like it a lot. Well, there you go. That is my server rack. Again, it is not all up and running right now, but I will be making a video very soon showing you my 10 gigabit networking project, the Ethernet install, my new setup. I'm really excited to show you all this. It's going to be pretty awesome, so be sure to hit the subscribe button if you have any questions or if you like the video, let me know and leave this video a like. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. This is Mark with AtTech, and I will see you in the next one.